Today we're going to be unboxing the October Zen Pop stationery box and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Halloween themed so I'm um, really hoping that there's some ghosties or some pumpkins in here and once we know what's inside then maybe I'll try and uh, see if we can make something fun with it. Anyway, let's find out what's inside then. First, this lists all of the items in the box. Then inside, first thing I see is this green pen, the Zebra Sarasa Clip 0.4. Go ahead and remove this little blobby on the end of it. Oh, it does write in green. It's really scratchy. It doesn't exactly glide, I would say. <laughs> we can't ignore this. What is this? The Yukai Block Memo Pad with monsters that are best friends. Although that one's a cat. Is that a turtle? Is that an umbrella? So it looks like there are four separate designs on here. There's the little dancing guys. Another design is... Okay, that's that's really weird. <laughs> I guess they're all little monsters. E -e 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 -e. Cute. I really like that one. Okay, I'm looking at the little sheet because I was like, I need some help with this. So it turns out there are yukai are spirits and demons and monsters from Japanese folklore. So this memo pad features some of the most well-known ones. So the little turtle guy is actually named Kappa. He likes to eat cucumbers and human guts. Dang, I want to know more about all these little guys. What is this? This is a craft fabric pen. Let's see if it draws on paper. Fabric paint marker. Colors, is it black or orange? Good question. Oh, it's orange, it's orange. Ooh, fun. Works a lot like a Posca pen. I'm tempted to draw on my shirt, but I think it's permanent. <laughs> and I like this shirt. I'll have to see if I can find anything to use that on. All right, next thing I see is a Whipple Kitty cat. Oh, I got the pastel blue. Oh, so cute. And it goes on a new pencil. A little loose. Look at the cuteness. Let's do a little spin. Very cute. It's really solid for like an eraser. Just the amount of detail in like the fur and everything. I'm impressed. All right, next thing I see is some washi tape. Get it out of this packaging so you can see it better. It's got some kind of like abstract metallic designs in very Halloween-y colors. I think this one is some kind of pumpkin gourd. <laughs> it's very abstract, not really my personal taste. I prefer, it'd be really cute if it was like little ghosties or something like that. <laughs> kind of like this. <laughs> oh, look at the other designs. That one is right up my alley. I really like that one too. But we got this one. I think I'll be able to find something to do with it though. It's still, it's crazy that they can use such simple shapes and designs and it still has that Halloween vibe to it. Look at, look at these little ghosties. We have some sticker markers. So these are to put on the edge of your paper and then they hang out of paper so you know where to look. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they have little tiny tails. Oh. I love the packaging, the way oh, everything folds. Ooh, very cute. Okay, I'm already getting an idea of what I want to do with these art supplies. Okay, what's next? Oh, candy! Yeah, it's not Halloween without candy, right? These look like a bunch of stickers. It's a little vending machine, and then it opens up and it reveals the stickers. Oh, and there's even some secret ones down here. This is cute. Okay, I think I know what I want to make with these. They're all kind of like fitting together, and the theme is really, really helpful. We're gonna have to make some kind of like Halloween -y illustration or something. What do we have here? This looks like some stationery and letter set. It comes with three envelopes, nine papers, and three of something else that I'm not entirely sure. Maybe stickers? Oh yeah, I think I see them. These are them right there. Stickers. <laughs> Little ghosties with tulips. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we have the three little stickers. We got one waving hello. We got one uh, giving you the side eye. And one that looks like he's given up on life. These are the three envelopes. They're all identical. They have pink little foldy bits. <laughs> Adorable little ghosties. They look like springtime ghosts to me. And then we have the letter paper. Oh, it's very thin, lightweight paper. And it has more of the little flowers. All right, I think there's two things left in here. I have another pen. This is the Ruchon Petite Pen. And you can get one of three colors this month, either purple, orange, or red. And I got purple! Can we just celebrate for a moment? Purple. Ooh. Ooh, I really, really like this. Just writes so solidly and bold, but it's small and thin. This would work really well for writing in your stationery. <laughs> and the last item in the box is a nice pastel yellow plastic envelope. 
And it matches the letter stationery we got. Oh no, it doesn't. Psh, not at all. So it's made out of vinyl. The one side is transparent. This little cardboard piece obviously doesn't need to be in here. Oh, see, now it's so flimsy. You can still keep like the envelopes right inside. You can also fold the paper. I mean, since the paper has to be folded to be put into the envelopes, I don't see why not. I should probably fold each of them individually. One second. I'm gonna leave one unfolded in case I need it for my art project I want to do. But otherwise, I want to keep it in this little envelope. I think that's a cute idea. Especially since it matches. You know, we can keep those in here with the envelopes. Adorable. I like that idea. Oh, is that a little... <laughs> Did I not notice that? I love how there's like a little window and one of the little flower ghosties sticks out of it. It can peek through. <laughs> I tell you, I'm easily amused. These small little touches go a long way, in my opinion. All right, so that is everything in this month's box. Now, I really want to create some kind of illustration or collage using some of these supplies. So we have three colors in our pens. We have a green and orange and a purple, but I also want to like mix in some other art supplies. But we'll definitely have to make sure we use these ones. I think the star of the show might end up being these little guys. We have 120 of them. Don't know if we'll need that many, but here, let me grab a piece of paper. Oh, but I want to try and incorporate these two. And then I can kind of thumbnail my idea and show you what I want to work on. Grab a pencil. And with a pencil at first, I'm going to thumbnail my little plan. I have an idea, but I can't seem to visualize it. I don't know. It's just stuck in my head. So I'm going to just start drawing. And then when I figure out what I'm thinking, I'll start talking again. Gotta include a character. To include like the candy stickers, maybe they have a clear bag. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if I could reuse some of this plastic. Draw on it to make it clear and then include little candies underneath of it. Let me know if anyone else had this problem. But I live in a northern state. So anytime we went trick-or-treating as a kid, we always had to wear a big coat on top of our costume. And it just ruined the whole effect, but... You do what you gotta do to get the candy, you know? And then the ghosties can be like poking out of everything. And maybe <laughs> down from the frame. Here we go. Let's <laughs> include the cat. <laughs> Let's take a look into the character design of our little witch. <laughs> He's got a cat food bag on him. Big coat. <laughs> and maybe the hat won't be quite as out there because they bought it at a Halloween store. Should look a little cheaper. Has that like classic patch on it, sewn into it. Oh, I'm gonna include the bag of candy. I still wanna try that clear plastic idea. Maybe it's got like spider web designs in the skirt. And here we'll include some candy stickers. And classic sneakers. So you can travel the distance and get all the candy. I think I'm getting somewhere. I really like her. I think she's a little bit more contrast in her shapes though, so I'm gonna shorten the skirt. I'll stop weighing her down as much. Give her little Halloween freckles. I'll just put this here so I can see them next to each other. Mm, not sure. Ponders some more. I do not like this pen. It's so scratchy. It's supposed to be like that. I like the little cats on it though. <laughs> And our little ghosty coming out behind her. <laughs> That's kind of cool because then you can like lift it and see the same thing underneath of it. Well, this is a water-based pen. We can add water to it. Let's stick this in here. If I can put it all next to each other, maybe it'll help inspire me to be able to include them. I mean, we could cut out some of these guys and use them as like decoration on this fence. Oh, and then there's also the possibility of including this somehow. This kind of looks like the fence posts. I don't know. I've been sitting here for a few minutes. <laughs> My brain's not clicking anything different. It might be time to just try it out and see if it works. I keep playing around this with the, this in my mind and like every time I visualize it, I realize something won't work. I'm just gonna start drawing something and not let myself stop. Oh, I did it too high. Ah! It's just one of those art days, you know? <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think this is, this 
All right, I'm gonna try and follow my thumbnail this time because obviously avoiding it is not working. Be very, very soft and light with it. Now, if I need to make any small changes, I can before it becomes too late to solve like the small problems. Jacket, big poofy jacket. I guess I'll just cut the fence here, even though that makes her like really tall if it's the kind of fence I'm thinking it is. <laughs> Maybe we can add some trees back there, too. <laughs> there, a tree? Facial expression I think I want to keep working on. Work on that right now. <laughs> I like this one better already. There we go. I think we're getting somewhere now. Just give more places for, like, the ghost to pop out of. <laughs> I wonder if we can include some kind of like decorations on the fence with some of these other things. Not this. I guess I know what I'm doing with. <laughs> I wonder if we can like crumple the washi tape to make it look like ribbon coming around like this. Like some bunting on the fence. I'll have to see how I can play around with that. That's obviously something that I don't need to add line art to or anything. So that's something I can add at the very end. But it does add a little oomph mm -mm that I like. I'm gonna use this to measure out and making sure it's not lined up. Ew, goodbye tangent. Ruler? They're not perfect. Somehow I measured wrong with my ruler. I think that adds a little charm to it. It doesn't give it that copy paste look, which I don't usually uh, look for in my drawings. Maybe I can even add a bush, like a little hedge down here. A falling leaf, or two, or three, or eight. Just add a little final depth to some things. Make sure I don't miss them when I add in some line art. Make sure I know how everything's going to look. <laughs> Perfect. I love the... <laughs> it looks like the little Michelin man. I'm gonna move the hat up a little so you can see the eyebrows, which will express some more emotion. All right, I'm actually really happy with this. I'm glad I went through all those other stages and finally found something that I'm pretty pleased with. Oh wait, we missed the... We need to add some color. I'm going to take a kneaded eraser, if I can find mine. Oh shoot, I was playing with it now that I think about it. Uh, there's so many things on my desk right now. Oh, I see it, it's by the computer. <laughs> Remember when Beluga was like bright white? <laughs> I kind of like the idea of white kneaded erasers because you can see the growth and pigment of what you've erased. Because like a gray one, it just goes gray to black and the variation isn't that strong. Whereas with white, I feel like you can see it better. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and erase this lightly. Just give some room for the line art to show through. Go in and add some line art. I think I'll use some fine liners for that. Start with a nice thick one. Start outlining the character. Might need to switch to a smaller fine liner for extra details. But for those big bold areas, this works perfectly. Like the outside of a character, I kind of like to be a bit bolder than the inside. Detail-y bits. The cool thing about using a, a ruler for your sketch is you can kind of trace it with your fine liner afterwards and it kind of adds in that organic variation and makes it look a lot less forced. So see, I'm gonna follow the ruler line so I went into the bush <laughs> but you see how it's a little bit softer than actually using a ruler for your fine lines just gives you more control and makes it less perfect here we've got a hedge now I just need to color in this tree actually maybe I want the tree to just be copic markers Oh wait, I didn't... <laughs> what am I doing? Let's move to this 0.5, so it's half the size of the last liner we were using. Go ahead and add some more details. I'm gonna not close all the lines on the little puffy coat sections, so they don't seem so harsh. Here we go. I think I've just about finished the line art. Now I can go ahead and take my more hefty eraser. I don't really want to use Pretty Little Kitty here, so I'll just use my eraser. Let's grab some... Let's go ahead and trace... There we go. Then I can cut it out. Ta-da! Got our little bag. Wipe off the liner now. I'm gonna have to find a way to color that. 
I'm gonna just keep it off to the side where I don't lose it. Go ahead and color in the background first. Use this guy to make sure that we don't go off the edge of the paper. Start with, I think I'm gonna go with neutral gray six and then layer some purple on top of it to keep with our orange, purple, green color scheme. All I have to do is just color in the entire background. <laughs> there. And then to bring that gray color into the color scheme, we'll layer it with some, let's try amethyst. That might be a little too dark, but let's try it. Oh, that works really well. That might be exactly what I'm looking for. I always would recommend trying not to use solid black for black. <laughs> you can kind of see how that looks. Smaller spots are always easier to color in with markers and get a nice even tone. Okay, making progress. <laughs> a little bit of a slow task because you have to color it in twice. But I think it'll be worth it. Now time to color in this large, large area. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, purple, purple. I think I messed up. I think I wanted the trees to be darker than the background and I made the background the darkest color I could make it. <gasps> It might turn out all right. We'll see. <laughs> well, if she's well lit, then the trees would be better lit than the sky. Maybe we haven't messed this up. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and... We could actually use a white gel pen and add a few stars. All right, then for the trees, we could use like a lighter gray with a lighter purple, maybe? What does that look like? The purple layered on top. That might work. I'll try that first, at least. No, wrong one. That's neutral six. Put that away. I just lost a twig. Rest in peace, little guy. And layer that with our light purple. See how that fits the color scheme? <gasps> We're running out of battery. Let's see how much farther I can get before I have to charge this guy. I spent too much time trying to figure out what to draw. I don't have any time to draw it on this battery. It's kind of cool that I could just go over because the colors are similar. I don't have to worry about staying inside the lines. There we go, we got our background. I might take neutral gray four and add a few shapes to the background. All right, background is done. I even added a little shooting star. Now, let's see, we gotta start coloring in the rest of the drawing. I also had an experiment with the Copic marker. Let's see if that bleeds. Oh, <gasps> it sticks, okay. So I'm gonna take our little bag, put it on top of maybe the sketchbook here, and go ahead and color it in. I think I like it with the purple. Just go ahead and add some color. Dry before I touch it. All right, back to this. <laughs> we also wanna make sure we're using these colors somewhere. I might leave like the top edge of them, the solid, what is this, celadon green. That way it looks like there's some lighting. <laughs> it's so close to this color. Now that I'm seeing it on here, I'm actually not sure if I want to put the darker color on it. <laughs> Go ahead and color the whole thing in like this and then we can make a judgment from there. I mean, it's not the most fall looking <laughs> shrubbery I've ever seen. Add a little texture. There we go. Looks a little bit like slime. Okay, maybe I am willing to commit to adding the gray on top. We'll settle with this and then I'll reevaluate after I've added color everywhere else. You know what I could do is add a pumpkin on top of this, even though that doesn't physically make sense. I feel like we need some pumpkins. Let's find a good post color for our fence. I kind of want it a little on the orangey side because I want that color scheme of the purple, orange, and green. So what if we use like basically yellow with the gray on top to tone it down? Ew, no. Do we have a warm gray? No, let's do barely beige. Start in these small areas where you won't notice it as much. See if I dig it. Definitely pictured it being a little darker than that. Let's leave it on just the one <laughs> and maybe try changing it up. It's trying to look a little bit more like wood. That's subtle enough and yet, you know, orange at the same time. Barely beige with ash rose on top. Hmm, they look different. Maybe this one needs to dry. And I don't know why this one turned out different. I thought I did the same thing. I thought. Maybe when I watch back the footage, I'll see the difference. 
gonna keep the angle going up and down. Give it that wood texture and use the strokes to our advantage. Is Ash Rose. Sounds like a Star Wars battle. Pew, 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 pew. That is getting low. <laughs> I really enjoy adding wood textures at the randomest little shadow behind her. I'm gonna add some like decorations in the trees with this. I like how this marker works. It's very similar to like a Posca. I also wanted to use the washi tape to add some kind of banner behind her. What I'm gonna do is just grab a big roll of it, start here, and kind of try and crumple it so it looks like it's hanging there. Kind of unfold it a little. It's not a ton of contrast, but I think I'll take it. I really just want to incorporate this somehow. About there. We just need to figure out what to do with the rest of this. <laughs> Keep ending up with these little pieces that I can't use. Here we go. I just noticed my camera wasn't recording, so I don't know what I missed, but in case, I hope I didn't miss this part, but I used washi tape and I created kind of like a 3D texture and made ribbons and bunting with little streamers that I cut into strips so they kind of like stick out. <laughs> yeah, I also tried to like fix some of this. I need to color in uh, our character here. I wonder if I should add shading under this actually. One second, <laughs> add some shading under our bunting. Just incorporate it more. Make it less look like it was just plastered on there and it's more part of the actual illustration, even though it was plastered on there. Yeah, I think I wanna use this purple with our neutral gray four, wherever that one ended up. I'll color in her costume. I think I'll also use our purple pen and draw spider webs on her costume. I feel like almost every costume in the kids department has some kind of spider web on it. Perfect, that works perfectly. That purple on top of the other purple, yes. Now for the hat, I'll probably do the same thing just so they're matchy matchy. Can't forget your spider webs. go i think we're making some progress yeah i actually lined up the stripes on the tights rare <laughs> the color is kind of calling to me that it needs to be is either orange or green and green is feeling a little stronger the color hair orange straight up orange so we could use this thing and then maybe orange for the boots as well and then green for the coat. I want this to be like super bright green though. Throw a pattern on it. There we go. Looks like a coat. I think her hair needs a little shading. Skin, skin, skin. I think I want something really pale because I think anything I try to use is going to really clash. So maybe silk. That'll probably work. Add a little bit of blush. Something other than that. <laughs> I'm gonna make the nose a little bit pinker than that so that she looks cold. There we go. All right, I think we can add the ghosties in now. I've been waiting for this moment. I have a little happy one. Oh, I could have put them on the other side of this. <gasps> Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Stick them up in here. Ooh, got it. And then cut this. Stick it down, stick it down, stick it down, down. There's our first ghosty. I'm coming this way. I think I'm gonna need glue actually. Is my glue stick still here from last time? Turning one. This we can uh, put a little sad guy upside down maybe so it looks like a smile. <laughs> cut off his tail. Actually, where's my white gel pen? A little bit of a yeah, little magic bits around the ghosts. Ah, I keep grabbing more than one at a time. There's gonna be a better way to do this. 
This one can be sticking out from behind here. Can have one poking out from underneath this thing. More, more, more. Oh, we gotta do this little sticking out guy with the hat. I grabbed two again. Jeez. This one could be poking out of the bush here. I'm not worried about cutting it out perfectly because I think I'll just draw on top of it. I'll put them at an angle like this. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Probably should glue them down though. Someone decided to do their lawn today. Do we want more? Do we want more? Can one have one coming out from behind her uh, leg here? Hmm, where do we want this guy? Up over right here. Pretty sure there's two here. Come on. Yeah, there was. Because I know I can't pick up just one. I feel like that's a good number of ghosties. Now I want to... I'm going to draw through them. Just to make them look transparent. But only subtly. So like dots where there'd be lines. And then if I have any like super pastel colors, I could probably color them in lightly. So maybe my lightest purple. Oh, wait, I have a pet. If it doesn't work, I can always replace them. This just makes them look a little bit more transparent. Ghost-like. What's my lightest yellow? Oh, guys. Perfect. I think I like it that way. Good. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Lastly, we need to do this candy bag. So let's put this here. I should have left that uncolored, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. She's going to definitely get a lollipop. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Do I have anything lighter than this? I don't think you can really see the difference. It looks like a garbage bag. Oh, wait, we can use one of these. This one might be perfect. That way. I can get it off. I can put this here. Put the candy, then put this on top. Potentially. Let me weigh these options. Right, adding another layer. I just don't like the texture anymore. Let's tape this down. I can actually kind of see through it. So I wonder if I could just lightly draw in some things. Alright, now we can put some candy on here. These gummy bears, chocolate bar, ooh, another cho white chocolate bar, maybe another sucker, probably draw in a few extra things, kind of not transparent enough to see all the candy, I kind of like how some things are shiny, not my favorite thing out of the box, it's just so scratchy, kind of like it, the color scheme's a little uh, primary. But other than that, I really like the idea and I like the little candies. Wish you could see them a little bit better though. Can probably take a white gel pen and just add little pops. Glitter on the costume. What's a Halloween costume without glitter? <laughs> Whenever scissors get involved, oof, the desk gets messy. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching. I had a blast opening up the October Zen Pop box and creating this Halloween illustration with the Halloween stationery that was inside. It's really cool looking at things from another country, especially Japan. I think they just put the best attention and detail into their products. It's just Freaking adorable. I do have to give a big thank you to Zen Pop for sending me this box to try out. And yeah, see you guys all next week. I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!